Hello, my name is Soraya Rosetto and I am here today at the San Diego Museum of Art on May 11th. Unfortunately, video of the art is not allowed, so I have taken plenty of pictures and I will be adding them to this video with some voiceovers about the art. Thanks! I chose Maximilian Luce's 1900-piece title Notre Dame for my art critique. I chose this piece because of the recent events with the Notre Dame Cathedral. I also chose the Notre Dame as this was a Neo-Impressionism, also known as Pointillism, piece. This was an art movement in Europe in the late 19th century, which saw artists applying dabs of pure pigment to a ground, in this case canvas, to create an image. When viewed from a distance, the daubs of paint are supposed to blend to create an overall image. Maximilien Luce was an anarchist, but a lover of Paris and the French people, which led to this painting. In his painting are people from all walks of life, including an elderly woman with a child, servants, dancing vagabonds, and some high society people. By using the Notre Dame in the foreground and the people around it, Luce is taking a major landmark associated with regality, religious, and bourgeois, and turning it into a place for all people. However, it also looks like an average day at dusk. Analytically, this is an astounding piece of art in my opinion. The Notre Dame is done by oil paints on canvas, a seemingly popular medium of the time. It sticks to the Neo-Impressionism movement with its short dot-like strokes that blend together to make an overall image. In just one to two daubs, Luce creates an entire person, and he uses other daubs of varying colors to provide depth and texture to things like the river and the grass. What really drew me to this piece, however, was the color scheme. From a distance, it looked like a beautiful blend of blues, purples, and greens. But up close, you see that it's more than just those three colors. It has yellows, and whites, and grays, and browns, all in the crowd of people. Upon closer examination, I also found that from the steam of the riverboat, you can almost make out the silhouette of a person. To me, this symbolizes the religious aspect of the Notre Dame Cathedral, as this could be represented as a figure of an angel, Jesus, 